says oh split when you get split ends is dead hair and you have to cut it all off you have to cut off your split ends to promote um healthy hair growth but hmm, I am um do not want to cut off my split ends for the simple fact my whole head is like <laughs> I think my hair is split all the way to the end there and so or almost close to it I would have to do another big chop mind you I've already done a big chop and I would have to do come on, I would have to do another you know what I would have to do another big chop and um I really don't want to do that um I just don't want to because my hair would have to be like this short. And now the only thing I would have to do, you know, is um, throw a wig on and go about my business. Ta-da! Because I don't like how I look with really short hair. I've, I have a picture. If I combine it. Um, of me with like really short hair. You know, maybe I was looking at it on my computer. I'll just I'll just put it at the end of this um at the end of this video. But anyway, yeah, I um did that. I think it was 2012 or 2013, and my hair is just right. Like it comes down to like is it there or there? It's either here or right there. That's how long my hair is. Um, when I straighten it out, and that's not, and it's not completely straightened out because I'm like the worst when it comes to flat ironing my hair. Oh my goodness. No, so it's actually a little longer than that. Let me see that picture. But this, let me show y'all this picture. It looks kind of crazy in this picture, but it's, it's okay. Um, this is how I want my hair to be. My natural hair. I would love for it to be like that. And don't get me wrong, I have curly hair. Um, it's pretty curly, you know. Um, natural. Our hair is curly, nat naturally curly anyway. And so, that would be so nice. But yeah. I'm on Google right now. Sorry if I'm not looking up at the at the camera. Um, how to fix split ends without cutting them? Yes, that's what I want to know. Cause I don't want to cut off my split ends. Like I'm just so a clever way to repair split ends and eight more hair tricks. Three ways to treat split ends. How to get rid of split ends. How to fix split ends without cutting them off. The beauty, um, wow, well, I'm not even going to try to say that because I'm not saying it wrong. I'm going to get on that site. So I'm going to cross that picture, which I probably won't. Run across that picture. But yeah, you guys, I noticed like a huge screw. In the tire yesterday is so annoying. I don't know why, but for some reason we just keep running over screws just all the time. And you know, screws or nails just keep getting in the in the um, tires, and it's not like we're um, 
driving through construction sites or anything, although they're always uh, working on the streets out here, several streets at a time, it's ridiculous. Oh, that's a movie. Oh, that's a movie, too. I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's terrible. Um, nope, I don't see it. Hmm. I want to show y'all. I'm so crazy. This is me at the Mary Kay, um, seminar. The seminar can... Or, no, yeah, that was the seminar. I, I'm not sure if y'all can see that because I'm not like looking at my camera. Let me see. Put them back. There we go. So that's me being silly um, at the convention. I mean, the seminar. Why do I keep calling it convention? So, there I am, all in my business attire. That was a wig that I had on, and I loved it. I love that gray hair. I really loved that wig because it was so natural. Like, I'm going to get me another one. And wear it. Um, it's really nice. And I really like that dress. Okay, see, hold on. I know the crazy in these pictures. Like, super crazy. Um, this is the card that I was like, oh my god, I want this Mary Kay card, but that's the dress. I really like that dress, if y'all can see it. Yeah, that was fun, and I know I've gotten completely off. <laughs> I hugged the car. I got completely off base here with that, but yeah, Mary Kay's awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, I had fun. That was really fun. Um, it's one of the Mary Kay ladies, young ladies, that I was with, that, that was in the room with me. Nice. Damn, it's so safe. You know, I, I came up with this whole plan. Um, I went and sat down with my director, and we came up with, well, she came up with this whole plan for me to, you know, really start to climb the ladder and be successful with my Mary Kay business. And like I said, life happened and I just, you know, I wasn't able to do it because, you know, it was like, it's not like um, a small hiccup in life. It was like a huge thing that happened. So I wasn't able to do it and I just, I don't know, I can't go back to her and, and, look at her and say, well, I'm really ready to do it this time because I've done it, you know, a couple of times and like four or five times and each time something happened and I was unable to commit. It's all about commitment. I was unable to commit to it 100% because, you know, it was just devastating things, um, deaths in the family. I mean, oh my gosh, lost so many family members at one moment or one instant seemed like it was ridiculous from where I'm at now all the way to California. It was just ridiculous. So, it was just too much, too much going on. And it was devastating things like that that was happening. And so, I just couldn't, I couldn't um, do it. I could not do it, you guys. Okay, I'm on the beauty, um, I think that's Gypsy, the beauty Gypsy website how to fix split ends without cutting your hair they have blonde brunette redhead long short straight curly wavy young old thick thin I follow under the category of thick and curly you see um, I wish I could show y'all the website that I'm on, but I'm not computer savvy like that. Oh, how to fix split ends without cutting them. 
Um, ingredients, one avocado, pitted, skin, and mashed, two tablespoons of egg whites, three tablespoons of olive oil. Now, this is the method. You mix together the avocado, the egg whites, and the olive oil. You whip till creamy. Apply this mixture all over the hair, cover with a shower cap, and leave for an hour. Then wash hair with a mild shampoo. Why it works? Um, avocados are full of vitamins and other nutrients that repair the hair cuticles, while olive oil provides an incredible moisturizing boost to dry, damaged um, hair. Combined with protein, with the protein laden egg whites, they make a wonderful treatment for split ends. Hmm. Do I think I'm ready? And I'm gonna do this, and when I get all of this stuff, which will probably be like on the first when I go to the store. Well, no, I have an appointment on the first. But anyway, when I get all of this stuff, I will do a video showing you guys me doing it or if it works out. Um, remedy number three. Oh, I missed the. Oh, that was remedy number two. What was the first one? Oh, the first one. Split ends rescue remedy number one is one papaya de-seeded in the skin, one cup of plain yogurt. So you mash up the papaya and you mix it with the yogurt. Whip until you obtain a smooth consistency. Apply the mixture all over the hair, cover with a shower cap, and leave for 45 minutes. Then rinse thoroughly. Both papaya and yogurt is rich in proteins and amino acids, which help make hair stronger. So I need my hair to be stronger, so I probably need to use this, and then like, I don't know how often you do it. The next day, you do the avocado, and let's see what the third remedy is. A cup of flat beer, that's your ingredient. Simply pour the beer into a spray bottle and spray evenly over your hair. Leave on for an hour, then rinse thoroughly and wash with a mouth shampoo. The proteins and sugars in beer bond to your hair, helping to strengthen and mend damaged follicles. So, I believe my follicles are damaged. Something's going on with them. I know my, um, gosh, I can't even think of that word right now. Memory is just. Anyway, my hair floats on top of water, like it floats up there, it doesn't um, take in moisture because my hair shafts are just like closed, they don't want to open up, and so I know how to open them up now because I looked on YouTube and I found videos on hot oil treatments, the heat, in the, the, heat the heat that's in the, the oil opens up your hair shafts and allows the oil to get in there and do what it needs to do. It says cut out the chemicals. Of course, I don't process. I'm a natural, so that's not a problem. Reduce heat. I don't put heat in my hair that much. And take folic acid and biotin. I have folic acid, but it kind of makes my stomach hurt. And actually, I was taking it for my heart, I think. Was I taking it from my heart? My cousin told me that I needed to take that. And I think I was telling her that my heart skips beat like a lot. And I'm just scared that one day it's going to just shut off completely. And she was like, you need to take this for your, for your heart. But this is saying, it's true. You are literally what you eat. Nutrients are what sustain the structure of your hair strands. Two B vitamins in particular, folic acid and biotin, have been shown to supplement hair health, length, and thickness. Folic acid, green leafy vegetables, oranges, soybeans, and wheat help the, the production of red blood cells, which power the growth of hair, of hair. That's what it was. My red blood cells and my white blood cells um, count sometimes as low, and so she was telling me to take that for that, and I'm a heart. Um, biotin is brown rice, lentils, 
peas, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and soybeans. Strengthens both hair and nails through the metabolism of fats, carbs, and proteins. And then you get regular cuts. So that whatever your hair type or style, experts recommend you get a cut or trim every six um, every six to eight weeks. The longer you wait to trim, the greater chance you have of split ends worsening and traveling up the hair shaft. And see, that's what happened with me. I have not um, trimmed my hair or anything, and I think I need to start doing that myself. Okay, and that's it. So if you guys want to um, see that, let me put this, let me copy this so that I can put it in the, I'll put it in the description, the description below. So if anyone is having problems with split ends, they can go to that website. Hmm. They can go to that website and um, look all of that up. So bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm all on my computer doing stuff. But yeah, it was just a quick little video. That's what I wanted to put on there. I'm going to try different remedies. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with this website right here. Let me say that. I'm done. I'm going to start with this website and um, see how that works out. Maybe it'll work. My, I got this on my head because I just actually got there heating up my oil after I washed my hair and I put the oil in there and worked it in and massaged my scalp and everything and then I twist my hair so and I put the seal on because like my hair is like really full of oil I think there's oil right there it's kind of shiny um and it was running all down my neck and stuff and so I had to put the um scarf on there to catch it I'm trying to find something, guys. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to have to read that. Um, and look at all of those. That's a lot. Oh. Okay, well that's it. That's all I see on my pictures, which I thought that my my drive would have way more pictures than that. Okay, I'm going to leave y'all with this picture of Daisy. She loves french fries, like all of them do. Blossom goes crazy for french fries, that's our rabbit. And Daisy loves french fries. It's so funny to watch her try to eat it. She's our hamster. She's so cute. See her? So cute. She just loves those. So funny. And I think that's it. Oh. Okay. I think we read those. All of those got on my thing. I didn't know that. I didn't know that these got on my hard drive. But I also put them on my computer too, so. Hmm. But anyway, I am finna staying on my, my, um, small account. Oh, if y'all wanna see it, y'all can go on there and listen to me. Hold on, let me find my page right quick. There is my page. Wait, can you see that? I mean, probably can't. I have to put it in the description. But anyway, yeah. Um, don't talk about my talk about me singing. I'm just like every other karaoke singer who just likes to have fun and not trying to be a huge 
star or anything like that. Or, yeah. So. Some songs I sound hideous and some songs I actually sound decent. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go mess up somebody's song. So funny. They keep sending me invites and stuff. So, I'm going to go mess up someone's song. Like, this person sent me something thinking out loud. He raps on his. Yo, he's great. You should go to his page. Go to my page and you'll see him. Um, he he does original raps to the music, but he wants you to come and sing over him or whatever the case might be. So that's what I'm gonna do. My mom got me these um, headsets. Uh, she got me these headsets. Um, yesterday, because she knows I like to sing on there, and I needed headsets to sing with it, because apparently, the headsets I have is not really that great, so, you guys have a wonderful day.